In 2007, the unknown artists were born. Years later, the founders, Emily and Pam, decided to start interviewing up-and-coming artists via Skype. This is their podcast. Welcome to the first ever Unknown Artists podcast. Yay! I'm Pamela Aberhart. And I'm Emily Clark, and we are the uh, co-founders and artistic directors of the worldwide phenomenon known as the The Unknown Unknown Artists. Artists. And Uh, here with us today, we have a very special guest, our first interviewee of a series of interviewees, the breaking the cherry, popping the cherry, if you will, on our podcast. Bob Simpson. Bob Simpson. I'm so honored, and I hope, unlike the breaking of my cherry, this will not leave me filled with shame and covered in 7-Up. Wow. Yeah, Bob, tell us, what was your favorite role? Ever. All in Right Together Left Together. Nice, good answer. Good answer. Right together, left together. Now, who produced that show? Uh, the Unknown Artist produced uh, that show. Woo! Every time you hear the words Unknown Artist, take a drink. <laughs> I was also in a really good production of Assassins. That was, that was fun to play. What actor would you like to work with one day? Oh. Actor, male actor. What male actor would I like to yeah. work with one day? Um, I would have to say John Cleese. What about uh, an actress you would like to work with? One John day. Cleese dressed as a woman. Nice. Because they do that a lot. Can you do an impression of that? It's <laughs> really good, Bob. <laughs> That's a really good impression. Bob, Bob. <laughs> Bob, what was your favorite theatrical experience? Uh, well, we, we already mentioned Assassins. We met, mentioned Right Together, Left Together. So I'll say after that, when I was at the British American Drama Academy, or Bob, um, I had this day where like you do all the scenes you've been working on for a month in front of like the whole group and that was just really fun because it felt like it was just a bunch of artists coming together and and having fun and doing really great scenes and everyone was really talented it's almost like a group of artists getting together to circle jerk to make yeah yeah it was actually exactly like that because then afterwards you'd go up you'd be like that's so great and touch i get that hey bob yeah um, if you could get sucked into any TV show, like Pleasantville style, what TV show would it be? And Game of Thrones. And Done. Next question. <laughs> Game of Thrones. I've, I've only seen the first episode because I went to the premiere, but I already know that's the show I want to get sucked into. Wow. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. The new one? Yeah, the remake. Although I like the first one. Um, Bob, how did you get involved with the Unknown Artists? We went to New York to see it, uh, an early version of Right Together, Left Together, done as a stage reading, and I got to meet everyone, and I saw what incredible work they all did and how just not, not great friends they were, but um, also how talented they were. Right. So it was, it was a lot of that stuff, and that's how I, I, I knew that was something I really wanted to help out with if they'd have me. And then they had me all over the place. Oh, so, uh, we great. call him the unknown artist bicycle. Everyone's had a ride. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's had a ride. Call I've got cons. a banana seat, too, mm. and a basket up front. Mm. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. What profession, other than your own, do you like to attempt? Oh, uh, I've always, uh, uh, a professional hockey player. Yeah, yeah, but I could never Sounds do that. I could never right. do that in this life because I'm not tough enough. You're a, you're a big hockey fan. Yeah, yeah. I, I break, it breaks me into tears and stuff. It's Who's your team? The Chicago Blackhawks. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're down huh. two games to none right now, so I'm not very happy. But I would love to do that. Unfortunately, I grew up in Texas, so not so much <laughs> opportunity there. Bob, I uh, I have a final question for you. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> if an apple could talk, what would it say in your stomach after you've eaten it? So this is the first piece of fruit in a while, then. <laughs> um, okay. 
Well, uh, thank you for listening to our inaugural podcast. We will be um, interviewing Carson Higgins next. Carson Higgins? You mean of American American Idol? Idol? That's the one. Oh, what a gem. What did Carson? Uh, what did Carson Higgins get you both for your wedding? He got us a giant bag of oranges. Bag of oranges. And then he said there was a juicer for it, but it never, never showed, showed up. up. So we had this bag <laughs> of oranges rotting away in our fridge for like for like two for like months. Two months. <laughs> because we thought we got all these oranges. There's got to be a juicer. Every coming. time, every time the doorbell rang, you two would perk up in it's excitement. Here, it's here. The juicer. The juicer. Oh and it no! Never it's came. just. Stupid silverware. <laughs> I got you so much silverware. It's good though. Jake, Jake. It's good though. We need that. Yeah. All right. Well, um, this has been the Unknown Artists. Thanks for having me, guys. Join yeah. us. Join us again, Bob. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob Yo, Simpson. My pleasure. I'm Emily Clark. I'm Pamela Eberhardt. <laughs> it's their first time. And uh, we'll see you soon. I love Tom Hanks. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile again.